cosine of 4x plus 1 divided by cotangent of x minus tangent of x. I picked this question because I loved it. You need to know a variety of trigonometric identities and how they work together and this fraction is going to simplify in a really intriguing way and we are going to be able to find the solution quite easily once we have first few steps spot on. So let me show you how to attack this question. To start with, we have 1 plus cosine of 4x and we can easily simplify this using one of the trig identities that cosine of 2 times some angle, cosine of 2 zeta is equal to 2 times cosine squared of zeta minus 1. This is uh, just one of the trig identities that you can prove. One way of proving it is by realizing that cosine of 2 zeta is cosine squared of zeta minus sine squared of zeta. You can prove this thing using the fact that cosine of alpha plus beta is cosine of alpha cosine beta minus sine alpha sine beta. And in this case, both alpha and beta are theta. And once you plug theta into both of them, you have cosine of theta times cosine of theta, which is cosine squared of theta, and sine of theta times sine of theta, which is sine squared of theta. And now you gotta use the fact that sine squared of theta is 1 minus cosine squared of theta by the Pythagorean identity. I will substitute the value into sine squared of theta and you should get 2 times cosine squared of theta minus 1. And you may say, how is this going to help us? The main part we should focus on is this identity. I went on, I digressed a bit and I talked about this just in case you guys are wondering how I, uh, how I obtained 2 times cosine squared of theta minus 1. But usually if you have taken a trigonometry course, you may have this identity memorized to begin with. Anyway, in our case, instead of 2 theta, you have 4 times x. So what we can do is we can write this as cosine of 4x. So in our case, theta is 2 times x because you want to have 2 times 2 times x to get 4x. So theta is 2x. So we know cosine of 4x is the same thing as 2 times cosine squared of theta, which is 2x minus 1. And plugging this value right into cosine of 4x, which we have right here, gets us a simplified form because negative 1 and positive 1 are going to cancel out. Plugging this in, you have 2 times cosine squared of 2x minus 1 plus 1 and minus 1 and plus 1 cancel out. So I'm just not going to write those. And you're dividing by cotangent of x minus tangent of x dx. Now the first thing I personally thought of when I arrived at this point was that maybe, maybe we can write cotangent of theta is 1 minus tangent of theta minus tangent of theta dx, tangent of x, I meant to say. And we can multiply both sides of the fraction, both parts of the fraction, I should say, by tangent of x to get rid of 1 over tangent of x. And this thing is going to get you 2 times cosine squared of x tangent of x dx over 1 over tangent of x and tangent of x cancel out. That's the point. 1 minus tangent squared of x. But as you can realize, this thing is very hard to work with. It's not obvious what to do next. And especially because 1 minus tangent squared of x is not going to simplify. 1 plus tangent squared of x is secant squared of x, but there's not an easy way to work with 1 minus tangent squared of x. And besides, 2 times cosine squared times tangent is hard to work with either. So maybe multiplying by tangent of x is not the way to go. So maybe this is not the way to go. So what, what else can we do? So let me go down. So we have the numerator simplified. 2 times cosine squared of 2x dx. You somehow need to simplify the denominator. Well, writing cotangent of x as 1 over tangent of x and multiplying by tangent of x did not seem to work out. So why don't we try writing cotangent of x and tangent of x both as fractions of sine of x and cosine of x. Cotangent of x is cosine of x over sine of x. Tangent of x is sine of x over cosine of x. I'm trying to write both of them in fr as fractions. And we can multiply both sides of the fractions 
by sine of x times cosine of x, sine of x times cosine of x, because you want to cancel out the sine of x and cosine of x, you want to multiply by both of them. And when you multiply something to the denominator of the fraction, you gotta multiply the same thing to the numerator, the top of the fraction, and we get we have integral of 2 cosine squared of 2x sine of x cosine of x divided by now we gotta distribute sine of x and sine of x cancel out and you have cosine of x times cosine of x or cosine squared of x for the first fraction and for the second for the second fraction cosine of x and cosine of x ca cancel out and you have sine of x times sine of x so you have minus sine squared of x i'm just distributing this sine times cosine to both of the fractions and you have dx and now something beautiful is happening to begin with there's two things to realize from this fraction cosine squared of x minus sine squared of x is same thing as cosine of 2x as i stated before cosine squared minus sine squared is cosine of 2x so we have we're, you're dividing by cosine of 2x to begin with, so you have 2 times cosine squared of 2x, sine of x, cosine of x, divided by cosine of 2x, dx. And since you have 2 cosine of 2x's up top and cosine, 1 cosine of 2x down below, one of them is going to cancel out, and you're going to have integral of cosine of 2x, and let me write it like this, cosine of 2x times 2 sine of x, cosine of x, dx, cosine of 2x is cancelled out. Now what do we do? You may realize, if you're experienced with trigonometric functions, that 2 times sine of x cosine of x is sine of 2x. So you can make another simplification, and that's what I think make this problem so beautiful because of how all of these trig identities come together mysteriously quite uh, suddenly and in a, in a very beautiful way. So you have cosine of 2x times sine of 2x, and now you can apply this identity one more time. The fact that 2 times sine of x times cosine of x is sine of 2x. And you may say, how are we going to? Well, because 2 times sine of x times cosine of x is equal to sine of 2x, sine of 4x is going to be sine of 4x is going to be 2 times sine of 2x times cosine of 2x. Now this thing is increased by 2, and both of these are multiplied by 2 the same way. So 2 times sine of 2x times cosine of 2x is sine of 4x, and we can use that. Because you have sine of 2x times cosine of 2x, you can multiply by 2 to have sine of 4x inside, and you gotta divide by 2 to keep the fraction the same. So you have 1 half times integral, this entire thing is sine of 4x dx, and you can integrate this quite easily now, 1 half times, that's negative cosine of 4x over 4, plus c, if you don't see how I'm getting it, you, you can try u substitution, you can think of 4x as being u, now du is going to be 4dx, because u is 4x, so you gotta have 4 right, right out, and you gotta divide by 4, and now you have sine of u du inside, and that's going to get us negative cosine of u, which is negative cosine of 4x, and you're dividing by 4. So you can use u substitution, or you can just use a mental math way to get negative cosine of 4x over 4. So our final answer is negative 1 eighth cosine of 4x, so 2 times 4 get got us 8, so negative 1 eighth cosine of 4x plus c. So let me write the answer down. So the integral of cosine of 4x plus 1 divided by cotangent of x minus tangent of x dx is negative 1 eighth cosine of 4x plus c.